Today's question is. Do you need to wear sunscreen when you're in quarantine? Long story short, yes. Blah blah studies have shown blah blah. If you're already bored you can close the video but if you want to know why and which sunscreen to use with which SPF please carry on. So there are two types of rays that you need to know about coming from the sun, UVA and UVB. And before you attack me in the comments and say that UVC rays also exist please note I said the types you need to know about. I'm in a bad mood today so don't at me. Anyways, where was I before I was interrupted? So the standard windows of your home block UVB rays but not UVA rays. UVA rays is the reason you get leathery skin when out in the sun. In addition, the UVA rays penetrate more deeply into the skin and cause premature skin aging changes including wrinkle formation, photoaging. UVA rays can also cause skin cancer which nobody wants because cancer is disgusting. There are approximately 500 times more UVA rays in sunlight than UVB rays. So when you're in a room that has a lot of windows, or you're sitting next to the window looking at the trees and wondering where you went wrong in life and how you are going to fix the past that you can't fix because living in the past is depression and worrying about the future is anxiety and that peace can only be obtained by living in the moment. Make sure you slap on that sunscreen. And make sure you wash your hands right after because if your hand touches your eyes after you put sunscreen, it's gonna hurt. Like ouchie mama style. So our next question is, what does SPF stand for? Some people fart? Snape punished Filch? SPF stands for sun protection factor, and the number beside it indicates how well the sunscreen protects skin against sunburn. What does the SPF number mean? I already said what it means let's look at actual numbers. The SPF number tells you how long the sun's UV radiation would take to redden your skin when using the product exactly as directed versus the amount of time without any sunscreen. So for example, with SPF 30 it would take you 30 times longer to burn than if you weren't wearing sunscreen. Cool beans. An SPF 30 allows about 3% of UVB rays to hit your skin. An SPF of 50 allows about 2% of those rays through. That may seem like a small difference until your big BOI brains realizes that the SPF 30 is allowing 50% more UV radiation onto your skin. Because 3 minus 2 equals 1 divided by 2 is? 0.5 equals 50%. Yahoo! It's advised that the lowest number you go for is 30. Experts say sunscreens with an SPF higher than 50 aren't worth buying. So don't be fooled by the numbers. Try to reapply once every few hours. And before you say that you have never seen anyone reapply their sunscreen or that people think it's weird that you reapply and that you're paranoid for reapplying. Just remember that no one is going to care about your health more than you do. No one. If you are looking for any sunscreen recommendations, check the description box below. It might be tempting to avoid sunscreen while staying inside, however if you already have a skincare routine, it won't hurt to add an extra step and if you don't have a skincare routine, one step won't hurt. You literally have nothing better to do when inside. No offense. Full disclosure, when I calculated how SPF 30 is allowing 50% more rays than SPF 50 I don't really know if it's correct. I just know it's letting 50% more in based on the 2% and 3% respectively. And when I said big BOI brains to shame you for not understanding the maths behind it I was projecting my own insecurities onto you all. That's why you should always watch my videos until the end. Happy healing!